Holy shit, that is steep! Trust me, this is the best way to learn. The mountain is a majestical place where you push your limits and you maximize your potential. It's a place where you party, man. Have fun. That's what it's all about. You're not gonna get hurt. For some reason, the rules are just different on the mountain. What do I do with my hands? How do I ski? Hold on to these guys for balance. <laughs> these are glass! Dudes, let's shred. That's not them. There's no way that's them, man. What? I've never skied, but I imagine it's pretty difficult, man. These guys seem like experts, which is crazy to me. That's fucking insane that they're experts at skiing, these guys. These guys. I wonder how Charlie's doing. Oh, here he goes. Oh, no! oh! God, it's the slopes. Don't forget to sign up for the big race this Sunday. I mean, I can't believe you guys can ski like that. I'm not doing it again, man. Look, is your body hurt? No. That's because it's mountain rules, man. You guys need helmets? Did you slap a sticker on the side of mine that says pussy? <laughs> <laughs> this used to be Party Mountain. Some corporate stooge wants to turn this place into a private resort for rich CEOs. There's one of those yuppie vultures now. Eat this, bitch! <laughs> we thought you were some jerk-off who bought the mountain. So you just throw snow on him. you don't even know who it is inside that car. I am the jerk-off who bought the mountain. I'm turning it into a members-only resort for millionaires to plow their trophy whores in private. I'm in. Who cares about your stupid plans? Let's go rage, D. Who do I go with in this situation? And you could get the most out of yourself by joining an elite class of athletes and gentlemen alike. Right, Frank? Yes. Why should I go with you? Go with them. Who cares? We're here for two days. Hey, oh. hey man. Remember us from the ski shop? It's like you guys had a real shit kicker last night, huh? Ranger! No, no, we're just recycling to help pay the rent. That's my roommate, Turkey, because his favorite drink is wild turkey. What, are you coming from a Gatsby party? No, I was in court all day. I was trying to win back custody of my daughter. Oh, that's a bit of a downer. Who stole my goddamn burrito? Did you come in it? Did you come in my burrito? I didn't come in your burrito! I wouldn't do that to you! Sounds like a common occurrence over here, man. Not as much of a party vibe as it is a... Uh... a pathetic vibe. Yeah. When yeah. was the last time you even had a babe in here? My daughter stopped by about six weeks ago. Served me court summons. Don't you miss the old days? When you were the kings of this mountain? Take back this mountain. Why don't you guys dig deep and show me those inner party animals? Let's crush some booze! <laughs> Red money! No, 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 no. Drink them! Drink them! Let's drink them! Then recycle! Five-star lodging and a state-of-the-art spa. There's only one thing missing. The Dennis Reynolds Ski Academy. What are you doing, eating a tree? Yeah, I thought this was made out of candy. It'd be a good idea to get a model of the banquet. We can make that candy. Now, let's not talk about the model. The only model that you should know is Tatiana. Meet Tatiana. She came all the way from Bulgaria. She'll be a fitting reward for me after I win the big race. Tatiana, I want you to clean yourself, for I will enter you hard and deep. Only when you are clean will you know my power. Dennis Reynolds, my favorite creep. So great, I can't thank you enough. I feel alive again. Oh, oh my god, you can't do that! You can't do that! <laughs> no, they don't seem to mind. They look like they're really enjoying it. Everybody, get your tits out! Oh! Come on, help! I'm gonna keep mine in, just for now. Party's yeah. over, burnout. Frank burnout. Reynolds. How they hanging, Drisco? I lost one of them. Prostate thing, you know. Yeah, me too. It's still bouncing around in there, but it don't do nothing. We skied together. This mountain wasn't big enough for both of us. Looks like old Frank here let his mouth write a check his ass couldn't cash. I just wrote another check to buy the mountain. Oh. How about we race for the mountain? Or are you scared you'll lose? I let my son race for me. Oh! Really? Don't think you can beat me? Enjoy your party while it lasts. Burnout. <laughs> it's good to see Frank Reynolds back on the hill. We'll see if he can patch things up with old rival Dave Drisco, but I wouldn't count on it. At that PA announcement, what, what, what was that? That guy was like saying a bunch of like really personal information about us. Like, how does he know that? Well, we're the most important thing that's happening right now. Meet my race team. And these guys are my goons, you know, if I need them to do something for me, back me up, you know, if I'm getting and into some... They just showed up and they're racing with you. Yeah. These are the stuntmen that we saw skiing earlier, I bet. You know, when they showed uh, at the start of the episode when... Uh, and the guys were skiing, you know, and they were really good. 
<laughs> these are the guys, these are the stuntmen who are playing them, I bet. Anything less than first place will not be tolerated. It'll be punished. But remember, I want you to have fun. Not if it means you're not going to get first place, because I'll, I'll punish you. March, march, march. Looks like you got a pretty good team. I think so, too. I'm out. You know what I mean? I, I, maybe I'm just drink some beer, eat some snow, and just... I'm disappointed in you. I could turn you into a champion, but that's clearly not what you want. You want to just be a burnout and a loser like those other guys. It's like, take it easy. Where are those coming from? <laughs> Charlie's just spawning beer, man. Looks like, like Charlie boots. Kelly's walking Love off the boots. mountain and out of the big race, ladies and gentlemen. He knows my name! Oh, yeah. There we go. We are in the middle of a prank war with Frank and Dennis. Yeah. We're drilling a hole in the women's shower so we can look at him naked. How does that involve Frank? It's just a warm-up prank to get the juices flowing. Yeah! Drisco is a creep, huh? I kind of don't get how spying on naked, unaware women is a prank at all. Real prank mm -hmm. is when I jam my dick through that hole and yell, special <laughs> delivery! Oh, and you get a lot yeah. of trouble for something like that. Yeah. That's yeah. like, yeah. How about if I show you my dick? Why would I want that? It's a prank if you don't want to see it, but he shows you anyway. It's assault. It's harassment. I'm gonna get myself hard and I will show you what I mean. <laughs> Drisco. If you guys are already hard, just go ahead of me and I'll, I'll just circle back. Glory holes everywhere, man. Glory Hello, Charlie. Oh my god. Uh... That steam just smells like pussy now. We're on the mountain. Everyone keeps saying we're on the mountain, but I, I don't get it. Something bothering you, Charlie? You do not like my breath? Do you I... want to jump in with me in the hot tub now? I'm gonna let the mountain work for me. <laughs> now we're talking! Hi! Can I, find a woman like that? I want to go to the mountains too, man. Is this what happens in the mountains? Wow, Charlie getting lucky. Is this real? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now, man? Charlie never gets any, and the one time he gets some, it's super graphic. We are seeing almost everything. <laughs> Fucking position after position, man. Good for Charlie. It's weird that it's Charlie, though. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? That's one of the craziest scenes I've ever seen on this show. That I've seen on this show so far. The stakes are high because the loser today is walking off the mountain for 30 years. I'm going to get rid of you once and for all, Frank Reynolds. I'm going to save Party Mountain. Freeze, police! Freeze? Everyone is freezing here. This man has committed a litany of sexual assaults. His semen was recovered from crime scenes all over the mountain. Oh! You forgot one charge. What's that? Assaulting an officer! Never stop partying! Never stop! Never oh. stop, bro. Well, I guess that does it. The winner by default of the annual big race is... Not so fast! Now I'm gonna race for everyone. I'm gonna race for the people. Tatiana taught me all about communism. She also taught me a lot about sex. Jesse's girl. I love that we're seeing it again. Nice. This ought to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one man i'm loving this episode so much the setting it's outdoors different location already i mean Actually, uh, the whole Snow Palace thing was, uh, well, for show. I needed to distract the local environmentalist groups while I fracked the mountain. I wanted to get into this hill and suck out its natural resources. I, I hired the hookers so you could rip their tops off. That makes sense. So what do we do now? Let's get fracking. Time to frack. I need to go see a doctor. Frank fracked the mountain and it looks like we'll all be out of jobs. Oh! Even hire that guy? You know, Charlie, I have no idea who that guy is. I guess some things really are different on the mountain. That was a really good episode, man. Really good. Best one I've seen in a long time. I'm talking season 10 to 11. It's the best episode, episode I've seen in a while. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic episode, man. Again, the setting. It's really easy with me, man. 
it's not always the case it's not a guarantee that i will enjoy an episode just because the events are outside the bar but it really helps a lot man you know it's it's new to the eye it's fresh charlie got lucky super fucking lucky and maybe unlucky too you know he might have something you know tatiana might have had something and now charlie might have it too <laughs> But at least Charlie got to bang, man. Charlie never gets lucky, bro. The mountains are weird, I guess. Huh? Uh, the way they were going on about... Uh, it's the mountains. I guess that's something that... Uh, you know, maybe that's a common thing. With, uh, with people who go to stuff like this. You know, people who surf and stuff like that. They're like, no worries out here, bro. Woo! You know, that would be a whole thing. <laughs> uh, but this was a good one, man. This was really fun. It flew by. It flew by. Sometimes I'll watch an episode. I'm like, ah, oh, damn. When is this going to end? If it's really boring. This was a banger. Very good episode, man. Wow. It's just like a... Wow. I hope, I hope, uh, I hope we get more like this, man. Because this, this, this belongs on a banger season. <laughs> You know, this is a good episode. It should not be wasted on a bad season or on a lackluster season, man. That was fun. That was fun, man. Really fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. You know, don't, you know, never stop partying. That's the moral of the story here. Never stop partying. <laughs>